reductive signal of the day and it looks like it's a quarter it's a pretty questionable when a quarter signal sounds like diamonds to you well we hope it's a quarter signal Yep, there it is. Quarter. Now this could be a nickel signal or almost anything else. It is a nickel signal. Cool. Well after I got that nickel signal from the little hole here. Looks like I got another signal right beside it. And it is a penny. No, that's not a penny. That's another nickel, I believe. I don't know why I thought there was a penny. Well, on my way out of the park, I'm going to hit One more coin before I get in my car. And I do. Another penny. Well, this was a good 90 signal, and it appears to be a ring. I'm not sure. It looks like a ring with uh, a cross on it. All right. Not sure. See? Don't know if it's silver or not. I'll have to take a look at it later, but I might have gotten, well, I definitely got another ring. I just don't know if, it, uh, if it's silver or not. White gold. <laughs> uh, let's not ask for too much. Okay. okay. That's it. This is Texas Tiger Diggs. Let's see if we can make this a quick one. Uh, this is my roundup for today and it was a good day. I went out to the, uh, the large park at lunch near where I work and probably had one of the best clad days I've had in some time. All of these coins with the exception of one came from that big park. So that's not a bad, not a bad little collection of clad. So And uh, so, it, it, you know, that, that was great. A uh, couple of quarters, a couple of quarters, uh, well, no, nope. a couple of quarters, three nickels, one of which I got from a second park, and, and about eight pennies. So, that's not a bad, that's, that's better than my usual clad count for my morning and afternoon uh, hit and runs. But, uh, you know, and this was a, this rang up very good on this, just a piece of uh, aluminum, but it was interesting. It's shiny. <laughs> so I picked it up, <laughs> brought it with me, and I found another key. Okay, that was on the surface, close to the surface when I, uh, I just moved a little dirt away and there it was. But the most impressive thing was, uh, I got another ring. This, uh, I got this ring from the same area where, not the exact same area, but the same general area where I got the, uh, the platinum ring, still working around that baseball field. And I was on my way out to, to, the, to the larger part of the park. I had gotten tired of digging up uh, pool tabs, etc. Uh, not that I'm finished, I just got tired for the, for the moment for pulling up, digging up pool tabs. And uh, on the way, uh, I got a 94 signal on my dais. And the 94 signal is a, when I looked at it through the Judas loop, it says Avery 925. So I guess this is another one of those James Avery designed silver pieces. Now it's very small, so this must be a child's ring. But 
it's another ring. So I don't know what the exact count is. I'll put it in the description. I think that's uh, 10, 10, 10 silver rings. You know, and then maybe 13 to 14 rings overall. I'll, I'll calculate that later. But another ring. So got nothing to complain about. So this was a better day than I thought it was going to be when it started. So, so I got the ring. And I got a nice collection of clad. So that was that was a uh, that was it for me today. So uh, I'm gonna be out again looking for rings. You know, uh, like I said, I, I like I like the results from that park so far. That's three rings, including a gold and platinum uh, ring. So I'm gonna keep beating on that park for a while until it till it either gives up or I give up. In any case, this is Texas Tiger Diggs, and that's gonna be all for me today. I'll be back tomorrow, uh, more than likely, because uh, I seem to be on a pretty good hot streak. Uh, uh, you know, two rings uh, within a week, one being very valuable and the other being, well, interesting, and it's silver. Can't beat that. And anyway, I will uh, talk to you later, and uh, you have a good day. And this is Texas Tiger Digs. I'll see you at the next dig. I'll see you at the next find.